Hello and welcome to my video where I'm going to show you how to make a world map wall hanging by transferring foil onto fabric. I've been very happy to see the recent comeback of velvets with metallics, so I thought I would use this project to showcase that combination. In order to follow along, you're going to need some deco foil hot melt adhesive, some deco foil gold foil transfer sheets, some velvet or other smooth non-stretch fabric, an iron and an ironing board, some baking or parchment paper, some small scissors and some fabric scissors or a rotary cutter and cutting mat, carbon paper and a pencil, masking tape, a printer and a sheet of A4 paper, a magnetic hanger or other method of display, and a ruler. Also, if you have a cutting machine like a silhouette or a cricket, you can always use that to cut out the world map. With regards to the fabric, I used upholstery velvet in dark green. Bear in mind that this fabric will need to be ironed, so use something that can withstand heat and isn't too delicate. The foil transfer will be most successful with a very smooth fabric that doesn't have a pile. Obviously velvet, which is what I'm using, does have a pile, which means that fibres stick straight out from the surface. However, the velvet I'm using is very smooth and has a very short, dense pile. That makes it perfectly acceptable for this application, but you will notice later on that there are tiny areas of the foil that don't transfer. Basically, you can use any fabric for this, but the more texture a fabric has, or the longer or looser the pile a fabric has, the less likely the transfer will be a complete success. Right, so the first step is to print out the map. The map I'm using is a simplified world map that I made especially for this project and you can find a link to it in the description box below. If you have a cutting machine, you can aim for perhaps a more accurate representation, but since I'm cutting this out by hand, I couldn't include every tiny detail. So you might notice that this simplified version is smoothed out at the edges. All you need to do is print this map onto an A4 sheet of regular printer paper. Feel free to make it bigger but just note that this size fits nicely onto a sheet of the deco foil hot melt adhesive. The next step is to transfer this image onto the hot melt adhesive. So place one sheet of the adhesive on your work surface, making sure that the rough textured side is facing down. Then place a piece of carbon paper on top, making sure it's the correct way up, i.e. the carbon side is facing down. You'll notice that I've cut the carbon paper down to roughly the same size as the adhesive sheet. Then cut around to the outside of the map to remove some of the excess white paper and place this map on top of the pile. Make sure the entire map image lies within the area of the adhesive sheet, then use masking tape to connect everything together, like so. To transfer the image, use a pencil to trace the outline of the map making sure that you're working on a hard surface. Once completed, remove the tape, map and carbon paper and you'll be left with the map outline on the smooth side of the adhesive. Like so. Then the next step is to cut out the pieces of the map. This can be a bit fiddly, but just make sure you use small scissors. Make sure you lay out the pieces neatly in front of you once you've cut out each shape, so you don't forget which piece went where. Also, you can use your printed map for reference. Once all of the pieces have been cut out, arrange them how you want them on your piece of fabric, making sure your fabric is now on your ironing board. Make sure that the textured side of the pieces is facing down onto the fabric. Next, you need to carefully place a piece of baking or parchment paper over the top, making sure the shapes stay in place. If your paper has folds in it, just make sure you iron it flat before you begin. Then iron your mat for about 30 seconds, making sure your iron is on medium heat with no steam. Then make sure to leave the fabric to cool completely. Then remove the paper backing on each of the map shapes. If the adhesive hasn't properly transferred, 
You can always put the parchment paper back down and iron it some more. This should leave you with just a shiny adhesive on the fabric, as you can see here. Next, it's the most fun step because it's where we transfer the foil. So place a sheet of the transfer foil over the adhesive areas and make sure that the colour side, i.e. the gold side, is facing up. Smooth the foil out, then place the parchment paper on top. Then just iron as you did before, on a medium heat without steam, but this time heat the area for a little longer, about 40 seconds. Then make sure to leave it to cool down completely. Then you can slowly remove the foil sheet. This is definitely the most satisfying step. If, as you're removing the sheet, there are areas where the foil hasn't fully transferred, you can put the gold sheet and parchment paper back down again and repeat the ironing step. As I mentioned before, there were a few areas where the foil didn't stick down fully for me, which I was kind of anticipating due to using velvet which has a slight pile. The smoother the fabric, the more perfect the foil should turn out. And then the final step is just to cut the fabric to shape, which in my case was a rectangle around 32 by 25 centimeters. If you wanted, you could instead choose to make the fabric into a pennant shape or other kind of classic banner style. And if you're using fraying fabric, you'll probably want to hem the edges as well. In order to hang it on the wall, I just attached a magnetic wooden hanger. And that's it, your wall hanging is now complete. I'm really pleased with how this turned out and I think the green and gold looks so good together, particularly when it shines in the light. I really hope you enjoyed this project and thank you very much for watching.